Hi everyone, this is Danny for Cupping Cakes with me and today I'm gonna show you how to make Luigi. We have Mario already on the channel so go there if you need Mario as well. Before we start the video please don't forget to subscribe and share the video with your friends and family and press the bell button for notifications. We are going to start he, Luigi with his shoes. I'm using air dry clay so I cannot wait. Um, my two sides to see if they're the same so my tip is just try to make two balls of the same size so when you make this teardrop shape and you flatten out to start making the shoes you know that they are the same size and then i use the same brown with a little bit of white just to be a light a tiny bit lighter to separate the shoe and the sole and i'm making a ball teardrop shape and flatten out to push and right on the bottom of that first one we open to start making the sole of the shoe um normally you don't need to go all the trouble to mix a different color and go put it in the bottom because there's the bottom of the shoe who's gonna see it but when i was looking at every luigi picture i could see that in every picture and then i thought then it should be there if that makes sense but if you don't want it go for it don't do it um, <laughs> but any put it in the bottom I'm not using any water or glue or anything my clay the air dry clay they stick to each other very 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 easy and actually it's kind of annoying sometimes if you put something wrong to get it out so be careful with that so I'm just using the, the, the tool to separate the heel and the rest of the shoe just to give a little bit more of the detail. And now with the green, we're gonna start his shirt. And then with the same green, we're gonna make a ball and a row and we're gonna flatten one side for the sleeves. So I'm just gonna open with the row. I'm using an acrylic um, piece of acrylic, a square. Um, it makes, I think when you open things like that to be straighter. And now I open the circle with blue. I'm gonna cut a little like moon shape where we're gonna start putting together his overall. Um, and then I'm just gonna use anything rounded to cut the sleeves where, you know, because the sleeves are the green, then we put a separate. So I'm just cutting the excess. So it's gonna be easier for me to place on the body. I am making the front part and then I'm gonna make the back part. It's easier for me at least to cover a oval or a bottle like this than try to cover the whole thing and it's to make straight and look the way you want to look when you need to cover the whole thing because when you fold it, you know, on the circle, it kind of loses the shape. So I prefer, especially if it's a piece of clothing, like it's an overall, if you have seams and things like that, you can just make it be part of it. I'm just making and cutting the shape. Um, it's easier for guys to see it than for me to explain, but you can measure and make it right there in the middle and get all the excess to cover the bottom and the sides. And then we're gonna do and repeat the same thing all over again for the back smooth everything be sure that you, you still see the green part because you still see that shirt that he has underneath and now we're gonna do the same thing flatten out cut the a little like moon shape and then we are going to place on the back um, as you can see my blue clay is kind of very to the thinner side than to the thick side because you don't want to make your a piece gets bigger and bigger like you don't want him to look fat even though he has a little belly but you don't want to overlap too much of different colors clays and then they be all thick for you to lose the shape and now I'm just using something straight as a ruler as, as something like that just to mark um, the little belt that he has on the overall and then I am going to start placing the sleeves on the sides. I am not going to make him holding his arms up. So I'm just going to place them down. And now I'm going to cut two snakes on the flat side for the overall 
sleeves then it's gonna be over his shoulder I just decided to make the end of that to be like in a v-shape so we're gonna make four di different v little v-shapes just to give even more details to it you cut the other side you can cut that with a scissor if you think it's easier this is kind of like a razor um i think it works just great to cut those things so you can see then i have it's like a pick a picket fence you're making a little piece and then i am going to place right coming out with the blue and to cover the edge where the arm and the body, uh, the body is getting together so you don't see that seam and then we place right over it just like that be sure it's in place and now we're going to start with his face I am just going to make an oval shape a little flat I'm not going to worry about the back side yet because he has a hair and the hat and all that I'm just going to mark where the eyes are going to be and the middle lip um, he has n not like a really hard face it's a gray face if you're starting and I'm just going to put all the clay access to the top to make the lower lip and you don't need to worry about too much of Mario and Luigi's face because they have those big mustaches that hides everything. And now I'm going to open a little bit of white for the inside of the eyes. Place them both sides. Be careful um, with this clay. As I told, once you put them together, it's very hard to pull them apart. So if you put too much of the white on that face, you're not gonna be able to get it off. And then I just open, make two balls and flat them to start the sleeves of the gloves and I just place over there. And now we're gonna make his hands. You start with the bow and you flatten out in a long teardrop shape. Try to make the balls the same, like you can see. Um, as you hold them, you can see if one is bigger than the other. Try to make them the same. You flatten out. Use a little tiny scissor, a clean scissor, especially if you're using white, because white make a mess with any other color, or I should say the other color make a mess with the white. Um, cut the V-shape to separate the thumb and the rest of the fingers. Luigi and Mario have five fingers. I know that's funny that I'm saying that, but Mickey and Donald and Goofy, they all have four fingers. They don't have five fingers. So always look at the project or the cartoon or whatever you're making to be sure that they don't have anything weird like four fingers. I cut the fingers and I'm smoothing out all the way around. You don't want to see the marks of the scissor and you don't want anything flat his fingers so they need to be cute and round and i'm just using a, a back of the paintbrush to make him make a fist because mario and luigi they are always like getting all those coins and gling, 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 <laughs> you know and then we're gonna just put his thumb down to look like he is holding a fist and i have ayla here next to me watching yeah. And saying that she's not going to make noise, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like Luigi? Yeah. Yeah. So she's going to be quietly here with me, right? And we're going to do the same thing for the other hand. Remember to make um, your thumb be a little longer than normally you were going to do because you want to curve that thumb down for him to look like he's holding a fist so you want that to be a little longer than normally because your thumb is way shorter than the other fingers but in this case i'm kind of making them look the same and now we're making making very like tiny little tiny little things and white to put on the top of his glove mm -hmm. he has those three little dots on the glove and we're gonna make the same thing to the other side just like that 
And now we are going to start placing him in a base. I am using the wood skewer. I use a little bit of the oil to run it over and to make you know the wood skewer go up without losing the shape. I put the leg and the shoe together and I am going to start to set it up the way I want it to dry and to be in the base. And I'm gonna ask a question. Okay. Have you ever played this video game with Luigi Mansion? Luigi Mansion? Mm, I haven't. Um, have you guys? Leave a comment for Ayla below if you have played this game and if you like better Luigi or Mario. <laughs> we have Mario on the channel too, right? Yeah. And who's coming? Who I made the video yesterday? Triple Triple! Yoshi! Okay, so I am going to place the body on the leg and you can see that the one of the legs has my wood skewer. I always try to make one leg strong and the other one I can use just a toothpick, but try to make one wood skewer go through your whole topper or decorations or whatever you're using for clay for stability to be, you know, the one that's going to hold everything together. And if you don't want to go to the trouble, you put a wood skewer on the other side, okay. But it, one side, you really need to do that. I'm using a little bit of water and then just placing the hands on the place. And then we are going to leave him here to dry a little bit when we work on the rest. And I'm using a, acrylic paint to paint his face. You can also use clay, like a light blue clay and then, you know, a black clay on top. I use clay for Mario's eyes. So that's why I wanted to show you guys today uh, Luigi in paint. And now we're going to make his mustache. <laughs> As you can see, I make a row and then I'm... Put an indentation in the middle and i'm just pinching it together to make um his mustache mario and luigi they have different types of mustache i didn't even know that that was a thing but they are so when you're making them pay attention because the kids know better than we do so we need to make it right um luigi mustache is this long like half circle mustache and mario has more like a kind of hairy mustache no, i don't know right he, he has a little like, ziggy zag like, mustache not like so now i cut it i check it in the place cut it at the sides to make it fit and we're gonna place right on the top of the lips so you're just gonna kind of see the bottom lips a little tiny bit and we're gonna leave the blue to dry before we do anything else. So I'm going to start just making two tiny snakes for the eyebrows. And can you leave a comment down below if you have played any Ma any else Mario or Luigi games? And uh, can you leave a comment down below <laughs> that you can tell me if you like 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 mario or luigi more mm -hmm. and now you can see that i made two little balls of the skin color and i made then in a kind of teardrop shape put it in the sides and now i'm pushing it inside to already make the whole of the year and make it an indentation to look like you know it's going through so i making this i'm already being sure then they will be stuck in there and not gonna go anywhere and you can just make the details. You can make this as detailed as you want. I don't normally for cartoons go crazy, but I like to make the little um, round side on the top because I think it looks cute when you look around and be sure then we have a center, like a, a deep hole as it's going to his, um, inside his head. And now I'm using just the brown to go with that little um, hair in front of the ear and that will help you also to hide any scenes or anything that you didn't smooth too much on the sides just the same thing to the other side and i don't know why um mario and luigi have brown hair <laughs> but they have black mustaches <laughs> i don't know why i didn't do that on my mario video and then i saw and I saw that was wrong. I didn't understand that.
but it is true. They all have brown hair and black mustache. So if you're making my Mario or my Mario video, remember the hair is not black. The hair is brown. And now with the dark blue, I'm using the normal acrylic paint that you can find anywhere. I just made the circle on top of it. And now I'm going to open the brown, not the black, the brown for the hair. And I'm making kind of like a ghost. You know, like a Halloween ghost that has the little ziggy zag in the bottom. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to open the brown. And I'm going to flat on the top part a little bit. Because I want to be thicker on the bottom. And I don't need all this clay or all this hair to be under his, on the top of his head. Under the head. Because it's going to make it too bulky. And we don't need that. So I'm just worry, worrying and giving the details to the bottom of the hair where I am going to see it. And the top where the head's gonna be, I don't care. And you can see then the back of his head is kind of flat because we're making it on the top of the table. But don't you worry because we're gonna put it, bless you, we're gonna put it on um, his hair and then put the head and everything. So it's better to be flat than to be too much in a circle shape already. And then we're gonna put a bunch of stuff on top and it's gonna look too big. So as you can see, I place the nose right there and it's kind of a big nose. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I just wanna be sure that I could see the mustache and I could see the eyes. Now it's dry. I'm just placing a little bit of the skin color to make his neck. I'm using my finger and a little bit of water to um, make the seams disappear. Um, if you have this clay or cold porcelain or using polymer clay or using fondant or gum paste, everything you can smooth it with water and your fingers as like a magic trick. So I am just going to smooth that out and is everything dry because that helps for you to place the hat. If you're starting now and you haven't played around modeling too much, wait for your hair, your head and nose and everything to be dry to try to pull the hat on. Oh, and comment down below what other cartoon character mommy, my mom should make on and a video of and put it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And then you see that I made a, a ball and a teardrop shape. I flattened mm -hmm. out and now I'm flattening the top. It's like the bottom of the teardrop shape. If you put them, it's like in a pear shape. We're going to make them flat, looking like a triangle. And then we're going to place just like a white flat um, circle where the L are going to be. And then I am going to place on his head before I try to put the other um part on the face so i'm just gonna worry the one thing at a time so i'm gonna place right there and now i'm making the second part of the hatch i'm just gonna make a roll make the sides be a little thinner flatten out just be sure that it's long enough to cover your whole hair like the whole front part of the hatch and then we're gonna put it in place mm -hmm. And we're talking a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, now I'm just going to try to make an L for the sake of it. You can totally just steal your kids' color, pens color pencils or anything easier than try to make an L with the clay. But, you know, I just wanted to make it different. The Mario, I painted the M. So I wanted to make the L with the clay. So I'm just going to flatten out and be sure that my L is very straight and tiny before I put it on the circle then we put on his head. You could have used paint. We could, for sure. <laughs> or even a color paint so a Sharpie. That would be way easier than what I was trying to do. Yeah. But, you know, if we try to do th harder things, what do we do? <laughs> oh, we learn. And yeah. that was smoky then... As I put on my Instagram picture, wasn't really happy on me making a, a Luigi video. She decided to step and to lie down right there. And Smokey's our cat. Mm -hmm. And then now I just cut it a piece of foam and a square shape. And I'm going to cover with little square pieces 
um, because I wanted to make it like that little um, cube then it has that exclamation point in the stars inside I don't know it's been a while than I play video game so I'm using all the same size the cutter the same size that is the piece of the phone that I cut I just decided to show you guys this and to make a base for it just to look even cuter because the details make all the difference and the end project. And you never played Mario. Uh, I played Mario like years and years and years ago, probably. Yeah, and now I'm know. using a little glue because you you can use water. I kind of this clay kind of really attaches to foam, but I like to use glue to be sure that it's not gonna come off, especially if I'm using that as a base because it's gonna need to hold my whole you know thing and i don't want it to fall apart and i'm just using the acrylic um piece of the one that i opened to be sure that my square my cube is like very square edges because it looks better so we're gonna put it all the way around and i think the the box thing with the question mark on it is called a mystery box mystery box that's what i think it is but that's not lol thing so you can see I opened the last one just a tiny little bit because we're going to be the front of my cube and I wanted to don't see the edges. So you can pick the best side to be the front side. I always mm. do that. And now I am again trying to make the exclamation point to clay instead of painting. Or um, other I could totally use um, acrylic paint or anything, but I wanted to make the clay. A challenge you learn more you try harder and I can show you guys then you can do it so I am just trying to make a little um, straighter because when I look at the picture and always always look at the picture have a picture printed or your iPhone or whatever you have open with the characters and you are making because even if you know by memory you don't know all the details so it's always great to look around so you can see I made the top part of the exclamation point I marked two uh, four little uh, indentations on the sides and every single side of the block and now I'm measuring the side cutting to be at the same um, thickness and then I'm going to play put in place and he is done i hope you guys like it i have yoshi coming and i have mario already i'm gonna leave in the description box the link for you guys to see it thank you so much for watching um i hope you subscribe my channel and share your friends and family and i talk to you guys soon oh and don't forget to leave a like like you said thank you bye Love you. bye <laughs>